Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. I'm excited about today because we're going to be making 10 more strategies and combining through 20. I'm going to introduce you to some make a 10 and more strategies. What does that mean? Well, we're going to make 10 or more and I'm going to show you some strategies that you can use. There's so many different kinds. Go out there and look it up on the internet. Do what you need to do. But let's look at what I have here. Okay, so we're going to be working on this first you know, pair of uh, 10 frames. So we have 9 and 3. So there's different ways that you can do it. You know, I can just say, knock that one out, fill in that, so I have 10 and 2, so that's going to be 12. But look, let's look at it again. So 9 plus 3. So what I like is counting on as well. So I have 9, 10, 11, 12. That's what I like about these numbers that have points. It's not just circles like an 8 or, you know, 9 doesn't really have it either. But 9, 10, 11, 12. So I just showed you two strategies for that. Let's take a look at this here. We have 9 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Whoa, that's a little bit tougher. Again, let's look at this. So we have 9 plus 7. So let's make 10 here. So if I make 10 here, I borrowed 1 from here. So I'm going to cross that out and make that a 6. So I'm going to say 10 plus 6, and that equals 16. You see how I'm using different strategies? Also, I'm using a highlighter. You can have, if you have an early student who's still working on fine motor skills with a, with a pen or a pencil, have them write over the numbers if you're helping them guide them through this. And finally, we have 8 and 5. <clears throat> now, so there's 8 plus 5. What are we going to do there? Well, again, you can fill this in and do this, or let's do tally marks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then add 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Have them counted up. So 8 plus 5 is going to be 13. Another way to look at it is, let's start them out with some numbers, and let's roll the dice, and make a game out of it. So, you come up here, you roll a dice, you can have them actually either draw the, the dots, which for early learners, I would recommend, because they can sit there and go, one, two, three, four, so they have these four dots in there, sorry about that, but nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. See how that goes? All right, let's roll the dice again. So now we have 8 and 6. There's so many different strategies that we can have here. So we have 8 plus 6. Uh, they can just draw in the number, uh, use the standard algorithm. However, again, let's make 10. So if I need to make 10, so I need to add 2 there, so I have to take it away from here. So that is also equal to 10. And remember, we're making that 4, and we're adding 2 over here. For early mathematician learning, uh, I would highly recommend saying 8 plus 2, and then bring it over here to where it's 10 plus 4. Have them write it out again, and that equals 14. They can even count on from here 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's those points that we can rely on. <clears throat> Next up, let's roll the dice again. Whoa, seven and five. Now, personally, I see this as, as something else. You know, people can say, oh, well, wait a minute. You, know, you, you can take three over here and make that a 10. Well, that's also the same as five plus five plus two. You see how I did that? There's, there's those doubles. They're going to say, you know, put up one hand, five, put up the next hand, five, that makes ten, and then they're going to add two, count on from there. So we have twelve. That equals.
equals 12. All right, next up is combinations through 20. This is where we want to have you know, two different numbers and it's going to go through 20. So more than likely, you're going to have a two-digit number and a one-digit number. You could have, well, no, yeah, you could have two-digit numbers if it's 10 and 10, but because we're just going through 20. All right, let's move forward. 16 plus 3. Now, what are the strategies? What, what's the closest number to 16 that they might know, that uh, a student might know, or you might know? Well, we can say there's 15. Since I took one away from here, so that's minus 1, I have to add it to the other side, plus 1, plus 4. And that looks very similar to 15 plus 5, because they may be working on their 5s. So 5, so 5, 10, 15, plus 5 is 20, so that equals 20. But wait, since that is one more, we need to subtract 1. So I'm going to minus 1, and that's going to give us 19. See how I'm, I'm breaking it down into just different steps. I want to get your child or your student to start thinking about different ways to make it easier for them to figure out the answer. Next up. 14 plus 5, similar thing. Let's make that 15 plus 5 plus 5, and that is equal to 20. Again, this is one more, so we need to subtract 1. Notice how I keep the, none, the ones lined up. So that's going to give us 19. Ask the student, or the student should be, you should be thinking about, well, what's the number just before 20? Because that's one less than 20, 19. All right, let's go to the next one. 15 plus 5, very simple, but let's take a look at this. It's, it's going to be 5 plus 5, and then let's do 5 plus 5, because we have to make 15 is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. We have doubles, and so 10 plus 10 is equal to 20. And finally, we're at our last problem here for this, for making step through 20. So we have 13 and 4. You know what? 13 and 4, we can look at what's 3 and 7. So we can have 10 plus 3 plus 4. Again, we can look at, you know, this could be 3 doubles plus 4. This could be a double 3 plus 1. Uh, many different ways. We want to get that student down here to 7. And 10 plus 7, and that is equal to... 17. Again, let's get them you know, to think of it differently. So threes, or it could be fours, you know, the four doubles, minus one. However, that your child feels more comfortable in solving this problem, the better. Thank you for watching Mr. Woods Teaches Math Fluency. Remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. In the next video, we're going to be covering decade doubles.